Good morning. Namaste to each of you. Thank you for joining me this morning to honor your mind and your body and your spirit. Let's just take a few moments to get present, to find a nice comfortable seated position where you can lengthen the back of your neck and your spine, opening up your chest, opening up your diaphragm, and opening up your heart. Gently close your eyes and soften your thoughts. Soften your eyes. Soften your shoulders and soften your heart. Observe your breath as it is, soft and gentle, bringing life into you with each inhale and relaxation with each exhale. Feel the grace of being present, returning to that awareness again and again. You may open your eyes. For this morning's intention, you may think of a positive word or phrase to have with you on your mat and perhaps carry with you throughout the day. This morning's intention, we're going to come full circle and talk about the eight limbs of yoga. The first limb of those eight limbs is the yamas. And the yamas are guidelines and how to interact with the world. The first of five yamas is ahimsa. And ahimsa is Sanskrit for nonviolence, but we most often see it now um, as kindness. But ahimsa invites us to be nonviolent, non-harmful, compassionate, and kind to ourselves and to others. We practice ahimsa on the mat by being kind to our mind, by not giving in to negative thoughts about our practice today. After all, it is practice, not perfect. And being kind to our bodies, compassionately listening to your body, finding that sweet spot Yoga should not harm our body. It should help us move with grace. And also, ahimsa will, um, practicing ahimsa on the mat, we would be kind to our spirit. Always leading with our heart, not with our ego. And by doing that, you're listening to your intuition about what is good for you, not good for others, but good for you. So yoga helps us to be kind to ourselves on the mat. So also we can be kind to others off the mat. The Dalai Lama has said, be kind whenever possible. It is always possible. So for this morning's um, pranayama, our breathing technique, we'll go back to the very, very basic dirja, dirja, um, the complete breath, or also known as the three-part breath. And the three parts actually apply um, kindness, um, not only to the three parts of your body here, which we'll go over in a minute, but also three parts to your mind. It it, um, provides a stillness, a peaceful stillness to your mind and to your body. It provides a nice uh, life energy and to your spirit, it calms 
calms you down. So the three part that we're actually going to practice is to have your um, the breath emanate from your tummy on up through your ribs, on up to your chest. And envision it like a breath flowing like an ocean wave, rolling in to your tummy, then rolling up to your ribs, and then rolling up to your chest. And then also like on the, um, at the ocean, when the uh, wave flows away, it will flow away from your chest and flow away from your ribs and flow away from your tummy. So let's just practice that. And it's just a matter of breathing deep inhales through your nose and deep exhales through your nose. And if you're having problem um, kind of getting the, the stomach into play here, um, there is a mudra that we've done before. And it's bringing your index and your middle finger together to your thumb. And that helps bring that breath down into your tummy. So let's just practice that for a few moments. Inhaling deeply through your nose, inflating your stomach, creating that wave of breath, letting it flow up to your ribs and then up to your chest. And then exhale, letting that breath just flow away from your chest like water away from the beach, flow away from your ribs and flow away from your tummy. Inhale again, the big wave coming up through your tummy, to your ribs, to your chest, and then flowing away from your chest, from your ribs, from your stomach. Inhale deeply. Visualize waves on a beach flowing into the beach and then flowing away from the beach. And for our meditation this morning, um, we're going to continue on with the dirja breath. Um, I also have, in addition to the mudra that I've just mentioned, um, there's a, another mudra that is a uh, heart opener. It opens the heart center and creates more loving attitude toward others. And that is the lotus mudra. And to do that, you'd bring the palms of your hands together, bring the pinky and the thumb together and keep the other three fingers open like a lotus flower. And I was out kayaking yesterday on Berlin Pond and they had a lot of water lilies open. And so I was kind of paddling around looking at the centers of each of these water lilies, not exactly the lotus, but the same idea. You know, the beautiful flower that um, comes out of murky, um, muddy roots and just how sometimes things that start off not so pleasant end up being beautiful and, you know, have that beauty reach others in a loving attitude. So let's just take a few moments um, for our meditation and I'll meet you on the mat.
We return to your regular breath and open your eyes. We'll start our asana practice this morning. Again, seated in a comfortable position. If you um, have your cushion or a towel that you can um, rest your hips on and, and try to lower your, your knees so that they're in the same line as your hip crease. We're going to start off with doing some um, head movements, uh, nods and, and turns and circles. So if you'd like to um, deep, breathe deeply as well during these, um, you can employ the ujjayi breath, which is that deep breath only with the uh, sound of the ocean in it. So we're going to exhale, send our gaze down, toward our feet and inhale, send our gaze up toward the sky, looking at the tops of the trees, not necessarily straight up into the sky. Keep your head at an angle. Exhale, looking down to your feet. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. And inhale, look up. Return your head back to center. And gently Turn our head to the left while we inhale and exhale, come back to center. Inhale, turn your head to the right. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale to the left. Exhale, back to center. Inhale to the right. And exhale, back to center. Then we'll create circles using our nose as the drawing utensil. So we'll start by inhaling, bringing our nose in a circle up. Gazing again to the sky, to the top of the treetops, and over to the right, and then down to our feet. Over to the left, inhaling up, then a little to the right, exhaling, looking down. Inhaling, looking up, drawing that circle with our nose. Exhale, looking down. And then one last turn coming up and then coming down on the exhale and then returning your gaze back to center. And we'll do that going counterclockwise. So turning your head to the right, we're gonna go inhale coming up, exhale coming down, inhale coming up, Exhale, coming down. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, coming down. We turn our heads to neutral pose. With our right leg, um, instead of having them crossed at the shins, place the right leg before in front of your left leg. I'm gonna walk our hands down and this is where we're gonna find our sweet spot. So exhaling as we walk down, come to the point where you find that spot that's between effort and relaxation. And then we're gonna walk our hands crab-like over to the right. And 
see if you can come to the point where your chest is somewhat over your thigh, your right knee. And then inhaling, walking our hands back up toward the right knee. And then we're gonna lift our right knee up toward the sky, placing our right foot on the mat. Wrap our left arm around our knee and send our right fingertips in back of our hips, twisting our torso to the right side of the mat. And take three deep breaths here. And then return back to center and switch legs, bringing the left leg in front of our right leg. We're going to, again, walk our hands down to that sweet spot. And as you walk, you can inhale and then on the exhale, kind of just lower your body a little further down. So get to that point where you're, you're listening to your breath and finding that sweet spot. And then walk your hands over to the left in a crab-like motion. Seeing if you can come over your left thigh and left knee. And then walk your hands back toward your left knee. And bring your left knee up toward the sky, placing the left foot on the mat. We'll wrap our right arm around the knee and send our left fingertips to the back of our hips, turning our torso to the left. And take three deep breaths here. And then come back to center. And roll down on our mat. We can roll down one vertebrae at a time, sending your arms out in front of you. And just slowly with control, roll down onto your back and bring your knees up to your chest and give them a nice gentle hug. And send your right leg all the way down to the bottom of the mat while you hold on to your left knee. Both toes are flexed and pointed up to the sky. Navels tucked in so that your lower back reaches toward the mat. Then we lift our right leg with control on up as high as you can, finding that sweet spot or perhaps all the way up to the sky. So your soul is facing the sky. And then with control, we're gonna exhale, lowering that right leg back down to the mat. And then placing your left foot onto your right leg, just above the knee. We're gonna take our right hand to our left knee and slowly guide the left knee over to the right side of the mat. A little bit of a spinal twist here, and keeping our shoulder blades on the mat as much as possible. And then bringing that knee back up. And we're gonna send it all the way over to the left side and keeping our ankle, our left ankle, right above our right knee. Create a figure four with our legs. 
and then slide our right foot up so that the right uh, sole of the right foot's on the mat. So we're going to come into recline pigeon pose. So our left knee, uh, we can guide it over to the left side of our mats. And then if you want, you can stay here, or if you like a little bit more of a stretch, you can reach your hands behind your right thigh, bringing your uh, right leg um, toward your chest, your right foot, and left foot toes will be pointing up to the sky. And then you can bring it a little bit closer. Just again, finding that sweet spot, being kind to your body. Deep. Breathe deeply into this. You may feel a little tension in your, your left uh, hip or left thigh. Try sending some breaths of kindness, deep breaths to that spot that's feeling a little tense. See if it loosens it up. Or maybe just relax your body. See if that loosens up the tension. Then unfurl your legs, bringing both knees to your chest. Give the knees a nice gentle hug to your chest. Bring your interlaced fingers to your right knee and send the left leg all the way down to the bottom of the mat. Both toes are pointed, feet are flexed. Uh, pointed, toes are pointing up to the sky, flexing your feet. Navels tucked to the spine, bringing your lower back toward the mat. And with control, lift your left leg all the way up to that sweet spot. And then with control, bringing it back down. And we'll bring our right foot onto our left leg right above the, the knee. And with our left hand on our right knee, we're gonna guide our right knee over to the left side of the mat. Again, trying to keep your shoulders on the mat. And then inhale, bringing your knee back up and then bringing it all over to the right side. Your right ankle will remain on your left leg just above the knee, creating a figure four. Toes are flexed. And we'll slide our left foot up, placing the left foot on the mat, coming into recline pigeon pose. And you can stay here or interlace your fingers behind your left thigh, bringing your left thigh toward your chest. Feet are flexed up to the sky. And if you're feeling any tension, try breathing into that tension. We're relaxing your body a little bit so it's not quite as tense. And then untangle our legs, bringing our knees to our chest. Give your knees a nice gentle hug. And then we're going to roll up to our hands and knees. So you can do that either by tipping to the side and making your way up to your hands and knees, or you can rock and roll your body, bringing it up 
uh, to a seated position and then crossing your legs and bringing your hands to the mat in front of you, coming into tabletop. So our, our wrists are right below our shoulders, knees right below our hips, fingers are spread out wide, index finger pointing to this top of the mat, Find that equal distribution of weight in your hands. Navels tucked to the spine, creating a nice flat back. And we'll do some cat cows here. So exhale, round our back, dropping our head and tail down. Inhale, lifting our head and tailbone up. Exhale, rounding. Our back, head comes down, tailbone comes down for cat. Inhale, lifting our head and tailbone up for cow. Rounding our back for cat. Inhaling, lifting our head up for cow. And just go at your own pace here. Nice deep inhales and deep exhales. Feeling that nice stretch along your spine. And then let's meet at a neutral spine back to tabletop. We're going to bring our knees together underneath our hips and find that even distribution of weight in our hands. Then lift our right leg up to hip height. Lift our left arm up and come into bird dog. Our toes are pointed for inhale. <clears throat> Toes are flexed for exhale, point, inhale, exhale, flex, point, inhale, flex, exhale, point, inhale, flex, exhale, point, inhale, flex, exhale, point, inhale, flex, exhale, point, inhale, and flex, exhale, and bring both hand and leg down. We'll do that on the other side. So again, get evenly distributed weight in your hands, lifting your left knee up to hip height, sending your right arm up. Point, inhale, flex, exhale. Point, inhale, flex, exhale. Point, inhale, flex, exhale. Point inhale, flex exhale, point inhale, flex exhale, point inhale, and flex exhale, and bring both hand and leg back down. And walk our hands back and not tuck our toes under quite yet. We're going to come into kneeling position or hero's pose. And bring our arm, our hands around back of our hips interlacing our fingers for yoga bind. And then these are chest openers. So we're gonna inhale and then exhale, moving our hands over to our right hip. Inhale, extend our hands in back of us, lifting away from the hips. And exhale, bringing it over to the left side. Inhale, extend back. Exhale, bring it over to the right. Inhale, extend back. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, extend back. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale, extend back. And one last time, exhale, over to the left. And you can release your hands. Bringing your hands back to the mat. Now we tuck our toes under 
and walk our toes back, coming into a squat position and pushing down, coming up into mountain pose. Mountain pose, our toes are in straight line with the um, edge of the mat. Legs are nice and straight and strong. Gentle bend in your knees. Navels tucked to your spine. Shoulders are relaxed and rolled back. Your spine is nice and long and tall. Chin is just tucked slightly to, toward your chest and the crown of your head reaches up to the sky. We're gonna sweep our hands up with a big inhale and exhale, bring your hands down to the mat, bending your knees to support your lower back. And just check in here for a moment. And bring your hands up to your shins, flattening out your back for half forward fold, sending your gaze down. And then exhale, lowering the crown of your head down toward the mat. And inhale, sweeping your hands all the way up and overhead, coming up into our tippy toes. We're going to sway the palm tree. Work on our balance here for a moment. Whoa. And then lower our hands back down to the mat. Again, bending our knees, support our lower back. Inhale, bring your hands up to your shins, straightening out your back. Nice long spine, gazes down. Exhale, lowering the crown of your head toward the ground. Inhale, sweep our hands all the way up overhead, bringing our palms together. And then for supported side stretch, we're gonna bring our right hand down to the right thigh and slide it down toward our right knee, creating a nice crescent shape with our body. Inhale, come back up. Bring both hands together and then send the left hand down to the left thigh. Sending our left hand toward our left knee. Nice crescent shape. Inhale, come back up. Hands come together. Right hand comes down the right thigh. Slide it down toward your right knee. Inhale, come back up. And one last time. Left hand comes down the left thigh. Slide it down toward your left knee. And then inhale, come back up. Exhale, sweep our hands back down to the floor, bending our knees. Inhale, come back up to half forward fold, hands on shins. Back is nice and straight and long. Exhale, crown of our head reaches down toward the mat. And inhale, sweeping our hands all the way up overhead. Palms come together and then palms come to your heart center. And we'll do a few leg lifts and kicks. So we're gonna Become stable in our right or our left foot rather to start with. So find a nice stable feeling on your mat, lifting your right leg up. Come, have your right leg come into a like a chair pose, a 90 degree angle. And then we're going to kick our left, our right foot out and just do that gently with control. And inhale, kick, exhale, come back. Inhale, kick, exhale, come back. And again, find that sweet spot that works for you, maintaining your balance. And 
And we'll do one last kick. And then bring the right foot down. Shake out our left leg a little bit. <laughs> Both legs. And then with our right foot planted now, bring our left leg up to that chair pose, 90 degree angle. And then again, kick out with control. Inhale, kick. Exhale, release. And one last time. Take that out and bring it back down. Sweep our hands up overhead. Inhale. And exhale, bring our hands back down to the mat. Inhale, bringing our hands halfway up to half forward fold, flat back. We'll send our hands all the way up to the tops of our thighs. Really emphasize that nice long spine. Bringing our shoulder blades closer together. And then exhale, bringing our hands back down toward our feet and bringing the crown of our head down toward the mat. Inhale, sweep our hands all the way up overhead. Palms come together. Palms come to heart center. And then palms come to the back of our hips for supported back bend. Feet are hip width apart. The legs are um, nice and strong, but with a gentle bend in our knees. Shoulders are relaxed and rolled back. Tucking our chin toward our chest, we're just going to drop our shoulders back, finding that sweet spot where your breath is still nice and even. And inhale, come back up. How's everyone doing? Okay, so we're gonna sweep our hands up overhead again. And exhale, coming back down to forward fold, bring your hands to the mat, planting them on the mat, and then send our feet back into downward dog. And our fingers are spread wide apart, index finger pointing up to the top. Arms are nice and straight. Chest is reaching toward our thighs, sending our hips upward. And knees are bent or you could be pedaling. And just walk your dog here for a little bit. Then we're going to take our left knee, bring it to our left elbow. So inhale, pushing off the right toes, bring our left knee to our left elbow. And then back to downward dog, pedal out. So inhale, lift our left knee up. Pushing off with our right toes, bringing our left knee to our left elbow. And then back again for downward dog. Pedal out. Now on the third one, we're going to bring our left foot between our hands. So inhale, bring your right left foot up. Guide it so that it's between your hands. Coming into runner's lunge. So our knees right over our ankle. Back foot is pushing the heel to the back of the mat. You feel the strength in your, your back leg and the strength in your front leg. You should be able to lift your hands off the mat and have your legs support you. But we're gonna plant our right hand down. Taking our left hand, we're gonna sweep it all the way up to the sky for a runner's lunge with a twist. And then exhale, bringing that left hand down. 
Now we're going to come into a high lunge. So you could do that in two parts or one smooth movement. And if you um, find that you're a little tippy when you're coming up or when you're up, you can pivot your back foot down, come into a warrior one. Okay, so let's inhale, come all the way up to high lunge, lifting our arms up ahead above us, arching our back slightly. And I'm going to straighten out our front leg. And then exhale, bringing our hands down, sending them to the back like we're flying and bending our left knee over our left ankle. So then inhale, sweeping our arms back up, straightening out our front leg. Again, if you're a little wobbly, you can pivot your back foot down. And then exhale, bring your arms down and then back, bending our knee over our ankle. We'll do this one last time, inhale, Sweep our hands up, straightening out our front leg. And then exhale, bring our hands all the way down to the mat. Coming back into runner's lunge. Bring your left foot back to meet your right foot. Come into plank. Shoulders are right above our wrists. Heels are pushing to the back of the mat. Navel's tucked in. Elevating your hips slightly and then lowering to the mat, either knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, keeping your elbows tucked to the side. And with our fingertips right below our shoulders, gently lifting our head and chest up, coming into cobra. And then pushing all the way up to tabletop and then down to child's pose. Bringing our hips to our ankles. Arms can be out in front of us or alongside of us, whatever is comfortable for you. Then inhale, come back up to tabletop. Tuck our toes under, come up for downward dog. We'll pedal out here for a few moments. And then we're going to walk our feet up to our hands. Coming into forward fold. And then reach our hands all the way up overhead. Palms come together and palms come to heart center. We're going to do some uh, tree poses. So find a nice um, Plant for your left foot so that it feels nice and secure on the mat. And then we're going to lift our right leg up in front of us, just as we did before. And then bring your heel to your left ankle and toe to the floor if that's comfortable for you, or to your shin, or to your thigh. And we'll just stay here for a moment. And 
And then bring your right foot down. We'll do that on the other side. Maybe take a big inhale with your arms up overhead. Palms come together, palms come to heart center. And then plant your right foot down on the mat so it feels comfortable and you feel stable. Bring your left leg up to 90 degrees. And you can bring your left toe and left heel to your right ankle or to your right shin or to your right thigh. And we'll just be here for a moment. And then bring the left foot down. And we'll do that all on the other side. So come into mountain pose. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Big inhale, exhale, lowering your hands down to the mat, placing your hands onto the mat, sending your feet back to downward dog. Fingertips are spread wide apart. Index finger pointing to the top of the mat. And pedal out here for a few moments. And then we're gonna inhale, bringing our right knee to our right elbow, pushing off with our left toes. And then back to downward dog, pedal out. Inhale, lifting our right knee up to our right elbow. And then back, pedal out. And then this last one, we're going to bring our right foot between our hands. So inhale, lifting your right foot, bringing it up between your hands. Coming into runner's lunge, where your knees right over your ankle. Your legs are nice and strong. Back heels pushing to the back of the mat. And you can just lift your fingertips off the mat. Feel the strength of your legs supporting you. And then place your left hand down on the mat, taking your right hand or sweep from the mat all the way up overhead, perhaps following your hand with your gaze. And then bring that right hand back down. Then we're going to come into the high lunge again. So you can do that in two moves. Either come to your knee and then up or sweep one move from the mat all the way up. Again, if you feel a little tippy, you pivot your back foot down, coming into warrior one. So the arms are up and overhead, slight bend to your back. And straighten out your front leg. And then bend your front leg, sweeping your hands down and back. Your knee should be over your ankle or not, at least not beyond your toes. Whatever is comfortable, but keep it, try to keep it in front of your toes. And then inhale, come back up, straightening out your leg, front leg, reaching up to the sky. Exhale, bending your knee, sweeping your hands back. And then one last time, inhale, sweeping your hands up. Straightening out your front leg.
And then exhale, bring your hands all the way back down to the mat, to runner's lunge. Bringing your right foot down to meet with your left foot, coming into plank. And slowly lowering to the mat, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Keeping your elbows tucked to the side. And then gently push down, lifting your head and chest up, come into cobra. Elbows again are still tucked to the sides. And lift up into tabletop and down for child's pose. Back up to tabletop, tucking toes under, come back up to downward dog, and pedal out here for a moment. And then slowly walk your feet up to your hands, coming to a forward fold. And sweeping your hands from the mat all the way up overhead. Palms come to center, palms come to your heart. And we'll do two three pose again. Again, starting with your left foot planted into the mat, lifting your right leg up. And your choice, you can bring your uh, heel to ankle or heel and foot to shin or foot to thigh. This time we're gonna lift our arms all the way up to the sky and stay here for a few moments. Maybe, maybe not. And then bring your hands down. And then we'll do that on the other leg. So plant your right foot firmly into the mat, lifting your left leg up, bringing your foot to the ankle or to the shin or to the thigh. And lifting your arms up to the sky is a lovely quote. A plant is free to branch out and blossom when its roots are secure. and bring everything back down. Well done, everyone. We'll bring our toes, pinky toes to the edge of the mat, tucking our heels in at a 45 degree angle. Bringing our hands to our heart center, Anjali Mudra. We'll lower our hips toward the ground, bending our knees as we go, bringing our torso between our legs our elbows inside of our knees. And if you'd like a little more stretch, you bring your hands down toward the mat.
and then bring your seat back down to the mat. And we'll roll back and you can either one do one vertebrae at a time or your express method. So I'm gonna choose express. Come back. Hug our knees to our chest, give them a nice gentle hug, and then rock our knees back and forth, giving our lower back a nice massage. And then plant your feet on the mat, about hip width apart. Sending your heels up toward your hips. Your arms would be alongside your torso with the palms facing down into the mat. And we'll do a few bridge poses. Um, started off by supine cat cows. So we're gonna inhale, tucking our tailbone up, bringing our um, kind of that bowl shape to our um, tummy. And then exhale, arching our, our lower back. And then inhale, tucking our tailbone up so that it creates that deep bowl in our tummy. Exhale, up, arching our back for cow. And then inhale, tucking our tailbone up, push down into your feet and then rise your hips up toward the sky. These are parallel and hip width apart. Not splayed out, sky, or gaze is up to the sky. And then slowly lower one vertebrae at a time, lowering your back down to the mat. And we'll do that again. So inhale, tucking our tailbone up, creating that bowl. Exhale, creating the arch for cow. Inhale for cat. Pushing down into our feet, lifting our hips up toward the sky. Knees stay parallel to one another. See how high up that is comfortable for you. And then exhaling deeply as you lower your body back down one vertebrae at a time. And one last time, we're gonna inhale, creating the bowl, exhale, creating the arch. Inhale, creating the bowl, push down your feet, lift your hips up to the sky. Coming up to the shoulders. And then exhale deeply, slowly lowering back down to the mat, one vertebrae at a time. And then you can send your feet to the bottom of the mat and prepare for Shavasana. Bringing your heels to the corner edges of the mat, let your feet just flop open. Take like three big inhales and three big exhales. And with each exhale, just release your body further and further into the mat. Shoulders are relaxed. Let the nutrients of today's practice soak deep within you. Relaxing your face, placing a gentle smile on your lips. Today's piece is by Madison Taylor, who uh, runs the Daily Own um, newsletter. And the title is called The Ripple Effect. Each of us 
carries within us the capacity to change the world in small ways for better or worse. Everything we do and think affects the people in our lives and their reactions in turn affect others. As the effect of a seemingly insignificant word passes from person to person, its impact grows and can become a source of great joy, inspiration, anxiety, or pain. Your thoughts and actions are like stones dropped into still waters, causing ripples to spread and expand as they move outward. The impact you have on the world is greater than you could ever imagine. And the choices you make can have far reaching consequences. You can use the ripple effect to make a positive difference and spread waves of kindness that will wash over the world. <laughs>